Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for, and what it sold for. In my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, there is a share post at the top for share your best monthly bolo. There's also share your best plush bolo. You guys share where you got it, what you paid for it, what it sold for. Shout out your social media, the platforms you sell on, and I will create a video just like this and share your bolo. Great way to get eyes on your different social media and stores. All right, let's get started here with the first one. Thank you to everybody that shared and to all that are going to share. Uh, the Facebook link is in the link tree down below in the description. She said, I found this blood pressure cuff at the Goodwill for $2. She said, I almost missed it. Glad I moved stuff around. It was hidden under some items and got it listed this month for 48. Accepted an offer for 40. Really quick sale, maybe about a week from the time I listed it. More pictures below. So I'm not going to include the other pictures, but you can see right here it is a Welch Allen Flexi Point or Flexi Port Adult 3. <laughs> <laughs> wow, adult 11, not adult 3, adult 11 reusable blood pressure cuff and gauge. The next item, he has sold this item three times, okay? He paid $5 total for three signed books the third day of a sale on a Monday at our local Jewish Faith Community Center. And this is called David Ben-Gurion, Israel, a personal history, leather autographed, and he did have free shipping on it. He had three of them. And one thing that you can look for is when the books are inside a thing like this, sometimes that can mean they're a valuable book. Not always, but sometimes. He sold one for $950, $950, another one for $500, and another one for $650. So tell me. Would you guys have taken the 500 and the 650 offer if you knew you already sold one for 950 or would you have waited it out and tried to sell the other one for 900? Let me know down in the comments. I'm going to say he paid five for all of them and that is an amazing return on his money. Congratulations. Super exciting. These are Love's diapers. They are the plastic diapers. The ones that are plastic are the ones that go for big money. Uh, it says, I found this open bag with 15 diapers at a local thrift store for $6. I read that it's better to sell them in one to two diaper lots. I sold one diaper in less than 24 hours for asking price of 40 plus shipping. I have another one up for auction that's up to $54 with four days left. So here's the one that sold for 40. One diaper, size six. Um, it's usually the jumbo larger sizes that do better. And these are a big money bolo. It's not just loves with Barney on them. They're, it's the plastic back diapers are a big money item. It can be other brands, guys, other brands also. This next one is a Furby Buddies Rare Pink Flamingo, new with tags. I bought five of these for five each at an estate sale. eBay store is Mad Hatter. Uh, thank you all. This one sold, it looks like, on eBay for $200. It is a Furby. This next item is a boxing kangaroo watch dresser valet caddy pulp fiction vintage. So I don't know what all that means. She said, eBay store nooks, crannies, and irresistibles. I really enjoy sourcing and selling vintage items. I found this fellow at a thrift store. I was pressed for time, so I didn't even comp it. It just looked old and it's adorable, right? It was only a dollar. So I decided to take a chance on it. When I got home and comped it, that's when I learned that I had a, it had a connection to a movie. Okay. So that's what the in info in there is. Pulp Fiction. It was quite a bit of crazing, but still sold rather quickly for a best offer of $40. A fun surprise bolo. Thank you, Courtney, for continuing to make YouTube videos. I learned so much from them. Thank you for sharing. You always have great fun bolos to share. We appreciate you too. All right, Nicholas Moss, Mos, Mos, uh, M O S S E. I don't know how to say that. Veggie Garden Serving Bowl. Bought this at a thrift store a couple months ago for $2. I attempted to look it up, but couldn't find any info. I took it home and actually used it before I decided to look again. Finally found the pattern, but not the item. Listed and sold in a day. Love the channel and all the information shared from everyone. Thanks. My eBay store is thriftily thrifty. 
<laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Awesome uh, bolo there. Garden serving bowl. This was at the Goodwill outlet. It had it in my money. I had it in my money pile for a while. I could not find any sold. Saw one listed for 70. I listed mine for 120. After being listed for under two weeks, it sold on eBay during a sale. It was a, uh, excuse me. It was on sale for 72 and buyer offered 6840, which was auto accepted. With shipping, the buyer was all in for over 80. I am the lost closet 12 on eBay. I also want to thank you for all the good info you share on your channel. I have gained so much knowledge from your efforts. You are very much appreciated. Thank you. Oh, thank you for sharing. I appreciate you as well. It's a vintage hard plastic blow mold light up Christmas elf. How cute is that? It's so cute. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. I love vintage Christmas. The next item here is a vintage rare play school blankies sheep lamb plush plaid from the 80s. She said, I bought this play school blankie sheep lamb from the 1980s at the Goodwill for 99 cents. From experience, I've learned vintage play school sells, but I didn't realize this one was worth so much. When I looked up comps, these were selling anywhere from 80 to 150. Got lots of interest in a low ball offer, but ended up selling within a month for a best offer of 100. Eat, pray, thrift on Mercari, eBay, and Etsy. And she is a bolo plush finder, man. She is always finding those big money plush. Good job. The next item is this Space Age Memorex video ball spear uh, with remote control and working. Found this funky TV at an auction. It's a TV, guys. Remember when household electronics used to be fun, not just so slim? I sell on whatnot, eBay, and knickknacks. Just search my sister to find me. Oh, you've been in my shows. Thank you. You guys, I also sell on whatnot on Bolo Buddies. And it's M-Y-S-E-E-S-T-E-R. Because I remember saying that. I'm like, my sister. It was so fun to say. I always say, pick a name that's memorable if you're going to be a seller on whatnot. But anyway, there's a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you use that to join Whatnot. It's an auction site. Um, I start all my items at $5 or less, and it's all about the quick flip for me. I have a lot of resellers that buy from me and a lot of people that buy for personal use as well. But definitely come hang out with us. It's super fun. And um, you can just hang in the chat even if you don't want to buy. But she said, I picked this up for about $50 and took a best offer of $350. Buyer paid shipping. Thought it would be picked up by a gamer but it was delivered to an art gallery in California. Ooh, I'm so curious how they will use it. Scariest part was shipping. Lots of foam board, bubble wrap, and packing peanuts. Yeah, that looks terrifying. Thanks so much for coming over and sharing, honey. I appreciate it. That is cool. Cool bolo. All right, the next item. These are Bratz dolls. And it says... Sometimes you get lucky at yard sales. I bought these two dolls for a dollar each, sold them for best offer of 50 and 65 respectfully and sold within 24 hours. Oh, by the way, these dolls are Bratz dolls. They came with 90% of their original accessories and very good, not mint condition. One was the Ooh La La series and the other was the Treasure Collection series. So having all the accessories also increased, you know, the value. And you guys, I'm going to have a Monster High doll whatnot show. And, um, I'm excited. I'm a little bit like, eek, I haven't done any toys in a while. So, uh, at least not on whatnot. So I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to go. So if you guys want to come to my monster high show, it'll be at the end of the month. I'm not sure if this video will post before or after the show, but you guys can come check it out. And the next item is kiss me couture, uh, home accessories, vintage Y2K juicy couture ceramic frog prince bank. Paid for at the Goodwill in Oregon. Sold on Depop for $61 five days after listing. I had it listed on eBay for two weeks with no offers. I'm Edge City Traders on eBay, Etsy, Depop, and Poshmark. There you go, guys. It's a piggy bank. This is a vintage primitive hand-carved wood ball art decor. Solid hardwood lathe turned pattern sphere. Six-inch wooden orb Diamond Robust Design. Wow, that is an amazing title. This one sold in July, and I don't remember if I already sent it to you. It is a carved wood decor ball with a water stain on it. Paid $2 at a church-run thrift store and sold on Etsy for $34. No, I don't think I've seen this one. Pretty interesting. 
I see these decor bar balls often don't normally pick them up. I bought this one because it was bigger than normal and solid wood. Edge City Traders on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and Depop. Yeah, that's interesting for sure. I probably would have walked right by that. This is a Z Zynex Medical new Next Wave TENS unit carry case. Batteries, 32 sets of electrodes, excellent use condition. Okay, so what I will say to you, if it is a medical device that needs a prescription, you are not allowed to sell it. I don't, I'm guessing this doesn't need a prescription since he sold it, but uh, this is from Doughboy Treasures. Got this at a local store opened, I'm sorry, a local store owned by a storage unit flipper. He buys the units at auction and resells the items for pennies. I barely paid anything for it. It was new, complete, and filled with extras. I know selling medical devices is risky, but what I can't sell on eBay, I can usually sell on Mercari and vice versa. Mercari took the item down, so I figured eBay would be next. Lo and behold, it sold on eBay one day after listing for full asking price of $275. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say to that. If this is a medical device that needs a prescription, I would not list it, guys. Also, if the item is in your solds, I think it can still be removed and you can get a ding on your account even after it is a sold item. I think that happened to another YouTuber. Um not 100% sure. If anybody has any experience with that where they've gotten dinged on an item that already sold, let me know down in the comments because I know a lot of people are like, oh, it sold fast, so I didn't have to worry about it. My best advice to you would be don't try to get around the rules. Um, if they say no medical devices with a prescription, don't do it. Uh, it's just not worth your account. Um, but again, I don't know if this is a prescription device or not, but he said it got removed from Mercari, which leaves a gray area for me, um, of concern because Mercari took it down. Now, is it a bolo? Yeah, absolutely. He made good money on it, but, um, that might have been why the, why they had it for pennies. If it's somebody who buys storage units and flips them, um, unless they don't list on the platforms. I don't know. What do you guys think about that one? Let me know if anybody knows what this is in the comments. The next one is also from Doughboy's Treasures. Vintage Pier Carden Backgammon Board Game Set Briefcase Brown Leather Complete. Found this backgammon game case at the Goodwill for $4.09. $4.09. It was different than others I'd found. It had a brand, Pierre Cardin. Isn't that a clothing brand? Uh, which I discovered is a little high class. It's gotten a lot of interest, but I held out against lowball offers. Took four months, but someone offered 70 and I didn't mind finally letting it go. So yeah, that's great, Bolo. I used to play that as a kid. Yeah, I think that's a clothing brand. I could be wrong. So this one has gone down in price. Um, if you go to uh, Bolo Buddies, uh, Build-A-Bear, into the YouTube search, I've got Build-A-Bear videos that show you the ones that go for big money. This one used to go for big money. Uh, it's still in the, I, I still consider $60 a bolo, but there's another shape. Okay, this one's the bear. What's the other one, you guys? I can't remember, but it's got the pumpkins, but it's another shape. It's another animal. Oh, I cannot think of what it is, but that one I think goes for more. Had a friend give me a bunch of stuff from their money pile. So this was free, sold in two to three days for 60, my full asking price. Yeah, I, I think in the past, these are anywhere from 75 to 100, but um, they may be down a little bit, but he said it sold really quick. So uh, quite possibly he just sold it, undersold it a little, but for the quick sale, sometimes, you know, that works. Doughboy's treasures on that one as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you're looking for a handmade hat that's awesome like this, different colors, different buttons, you can customize it. Seems so vintage on whatnot. Check her out, you guys. She's uh, my friend and my mod, and she helps out in the chat, and we hang out and talk to everyone, but she's very witty and funny, and you guys will really enjoy her whatnot shows. But even if you come to my shows, you'll see her chit-chatting in the... um chit chatting in the chat all the time so you will get to know her if you come to my whatnot shows but she hand makes things she's making ponchos that are like this oh they are amazing all right you guys thanks so much for being here thank you for watching be sure to like comment subscribe and share and i will see you at the next one thanks for watching